Family planning extra security measures tonight. Yesterday, their cameras caught a man peering through their backyard fence trying to get in. What the family is trying to figure out is why their home was targeted. Ken's Five's Alicia Niaves is live in the newsroom with the story. Alicia? Well, the family shared different videos with us that show different people, it appears, peering through their back gate in an alleyway between Reich and Gunther Street. They say this is the fifth time this type of crime has happened to them. In other instances, the criminals actually broke through their gate. Exactly one week ago, we told you about a possible peeping Tom in Southtown. Somebody like just like this. Yesterday morning, two minutes down the road. Um, about 2, 2 30 in the morning, and she got the ring camera notification. Another stranger was caught peering through a backyard gate before trying to get in. So it's costing us money and it's just costing us sleep, frankly. Sebastian de Hoyos, who lives in the home, says it appears his house was targeted. I drove straight through, they, they ignored this neighbor, that neighbor, that shack, and went straight to our fence, got out and immediately started messing with our, uh, with our gate and latch. So that's why I feel like they had some sort of prior knowledge because I, otherwise I don't understand. The suspect wasn't alone. Another person is in the passenger seat. Sebastian's siblings, watching the crime unfold on their phone, sounded the camera's alarm. Both suspects got away. I've had someone get into the backyard, um, steal some items. We've had some several attempts to get in. We've seen an uh, insane uptick since about March 2023. Um, we've had neighbors' windows busted in. At this point, the family's frustrated, wondering what else they can do to feel safe again in their neighborhood. I feel like my siblings and my mom have uh, typically been kind of scared of things like, you know, self-defense weapons and stuff like that. And unfortunately, now they're a lot more open to it. Sebastian will install another light above the back fence and another camera with a louder alarm. But all my neighbors are kind of a consensus, like we got to take care of each other and be kind of each other's immediate first responders until the police get here. Neighbors told us last week SABD planned to ramp up patrols. We reached out to Councilwoman Core to see what other action can be taken, and we're waiting to hear back. Live in the newsroom, Alicia Niaves, Ken's Five.